TIFU by bringing home a random photo from a thrift store. About two years ago, I picked up a framed photo at a thrift store. The photo is from the 1960s and depicts two couples dining at some type of event, restaurant as. They pose with their waiter, whom I now suspect may have been the original owner of said photo. Anyway, there isn't anything particularly special about the photo. I picked it up for $1 because I thought it captured a random moment in time and you could peer into the photo and take a glimpse of the fashion, the dinnerware, the essence of the moment. Although these five people were strangers to me, the history and mystery intrigued me. For two years, this photo has sat proudly upon our curiosity cabinet, front and center for purely no other reason other than aesthetic. Yesterday, the boyfriend walked by, as he does every damn day, and stopped to look at the picture. He inquisitively asked me where the picture came from and I told him. He then proceeded to tell me that one of the men in the photo was George Wallace. George Wallace and his wife have been proudly sitting on top of my cabinet for two years. I, unfortunately, share the same surname so my BF thought I was related to him and didn't say anything about it until now. Woman facepalming. Of course. I promptly took the photo down so now what? Do I turn it into some type of museum? It is a historical artifact. Deface it? Burn it? It is Black History Month. I feel so stupid. So embarrassed. I just want it gone. It went from being this whimsical moment captured in time to carrying some major Ouija board energy. Nauseated face face vomiting. TL. Dear I have accidentally been displaying a photo in my living room of a controversial historical political figure without realizing it. You didn't mention it, but did you ever take it out of the frame and check for writing on the back? There may be information there about the context that you're missing. I would donate it to either a museum or a university's historical archives. Burning the picture won't change anything. Not me trying to figure out why you would want to burn a photo of George Wallace during Black History Month fearful face. It was a curious moment for you, which has now become a learning moment. That's a pretty great story for a photograph. How the story ends is up to you. When Bay thought you were a racist because you had a photo of George Wallace and he didn't mind for all these two years smiling face with hearts smiling face with hearts. I don't want to be a jerk here, but pics are cool story bro. Just write, dick, with an arrow pointing to him and leave it up. Now it's a conversation piece. Let's see the photo op. What is interesting about George Wallace is that when he won his final term as governor of Alabama, he had become a born-again Christian and acknowledged he was wrong about his segregationist views. During his final term he actually appointed a record number of African Americans to state office. I was wondering why you were freaking out and thinking about burning a photo of a black comedian. Until I got to the end and did a quick Google. Makes sense now Loli was really confusing. His wife, Lurleen, won the next election and succeeded him. With him as the de facto governor. Lurleen died of cancer in May 1968, ending Wallace's period of influence. Her doctor had informed him of the cancer's diagnosis in 1961. But Wallace did not tell his wife. WTF? Wallace opposed desegregation and supported the policies of Jim Crow during the civil rights movement, declaring in his 1963 inaugural address that he stood for segregation now, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever, backslash, 6, https en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash George Wallace hash site notes symbol 7. Quote. Oof.
Sounds like a lovely guy. At least it didn't turn out to be George Costanza. It could turn out to be proof that the other people in the photo consorted with the likes of George. Wallace. Until we know who they are. And whether they held any position of power or significance. I would say don't burn the photo. Maybe that's just my personal perspective. But growing up in the DC suburbs. I've seen a few wannabe power brokers reduced to lifelong minor functionaries by just such a random social photograph. It can be powerful evidence. Settling age-old arguments. Send it to these guys. Along with your story. Center for Social Justice Research. Teaching and Service. Georgetown University. Palton Hall, Suite 130. 1419 37th Street, Northwest Washington District of Columbia, 20057. Didn't George Wallace renounce and apologize for his earlier racism later in life? I'm mildly amused by this. But I'd definitely contact a museum to see if they'd take it off your hands. Instead of making this picture represent hate and segregation use it as a symbol of inclusion and all that other good stuff. Maybe donate it to your local museum or something. It is a historical artifact. Is it? What is the historical relevance? Not every photo from the past is a historical document worth archiving. Do what you want. But I doubt a museum is going to put an exhibit up of George Wallace and his wife dining. Unknown date and location. It's just not important. This song offers interesting insight into the man. HTTPS colon slash slash u2.be slash 1 mist b1e8. C equals 0 1 n8 ql4 nbtdiyvn. Have a listen to this. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.